debuting with the Stanley Cup championship after relocating from Quebec, it's the Avalanche on home ice in Colorado. Hi, everybody. Along with Eddie Olchek, I'm Mike Emmerich. The people behind us have paid the price of admission to watch a lot of things in a hockey game, but one thrilling part of it is scoring goals. And we have a guy that's done it the best. Not easy to score goals, Doc. And when he's on the ice, you better be aware because he's got the opportunity and the ability to put the puck in the back of the net. Domi's been terrorizing goalies all season long. There isn't a book on him because he's scoring goals in a lot of different ways. Let's look at the starting netminders. He gets the call to the crease despite losing that last game. No surprise he's starting this game. He won the last one. Face-off number one gets us underway. McKinnon's the starting center for Colorado. Drew Ann's out there to try to beat him for Montreal. This game is in Colorado, and it has started. Oh, he'll pay for that. Montreal's unbelievable play over the last few weeks have them on an unreal win streak. They just got to keep doing what they're doing. They win the draw. What next? He only got the outside of the post. Moving it to Landeskog. Missed on that. He's out of the net to handle that one. Now it's directed to Landeskog. The Avs with a neutral zone possession along the way. Puck is thrown to Petrie. On to Domi. And the faceoff will come all the way back because it is icing. This will make you sick to your stomach. It beat the goaltender, but not the crossbar. A little under four minutes played here in the first. Still nothing on the score sheet yet. Nice face-off work. Looking to Domi. Can start the attack going in the zone. Wonderful chance to score, but no. Montreal's quick on the draw. No luck. Wow, he got all of that. As we used to say, that's the hardest shot you can hear. Probably be better if he hit the net, though. The Canadians with possession in their own end. Crosses that line. Gathered up again by Barry. To Kerfoot. Snapping a pass to Wilson. That was a big hit. Well, we expected a physical game, Doc, and it looks like he's on a mission trying to set the tone for his team early in the first period. Montreal's looking to head man up the wing. Hatchets one. Outstanding save made off a terrific chance. Directing that one to Barry. Strong defensive play. Lightning in that glove. Using the point. He's got it. Is able to move on in. He's got that point pass. A shot. That pop hit him on the way to the net. Montreal's back in its own end, trying to work forward. Two immovable objects against another one. The boards. I think he just tattooed him on the boards. Missed the puck on the shot attempt. Fires. That's the way to make him pay. Back on his stick. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Let's it go. Make score. A great bounce. The celebration looked like it glanced off the enemy in front.
that the scoring's been opened up. We'll see if the opponent can punch their way back into this game. You can't be back on your heels too long. So he played a while in this period, and finally, a goal. I was hoping, Doc, that we were going to get that first one. The Canadians win that neutral zone faceoff. Swipe that one at center ice. Watch out! A big hit! Nice work by Olsen. The Canadians have it along the side at mid-ice. Stick to side. That's a good hit off the forecheck. Leads that charge into the zone. Important interception there. Propelled to Nieto. That went off the pad. To Petrie. Trying to go to Shaw. Shoots one. Back to the point. A one-timer. He wore that puck on a hard shot. Blocked. Pitching this one to Calvert. Pass attempt to Neville. What a tremendous hit. Weber's play with the puck is known throughout the league, but when he lays the body on, everybody wakes up. Great glove save. Play stopped. That puck is just held. Clean win on the draw. Pitching it to Delorier. Wonderful work done near the blue line. First period has been played. An interesting start to all of this. Continuation in just a moment. The Canadians are the only team to score, and they did it once. Fans, your donations have made it possible for kids in need to see their heroes live from our tickets for kids' luxury box. Period two is underway. Hold it right back. The glove like lightning. That's a solid face off win. Say! Weber's a difficult player to play against. He finishes almost every check, and as a result, he has among the highest hit totals in the league. Good set up off the win. You can almost count that one, but no, what a save. Couldn't get through and retain possession. What a heavy hit. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. The Canadians get two for boarding. These are the type of plays, Doc, that we want to eliminate from the game where the attacking player has no chance to protect himself when getting hit from behind. Colorado's opportunity on the power play is their first of this game. Let's see how they do. Just because it's your power play doesn't mean you can take a nap here. You have to work hard and continue to generate chances. Oh, and a missed pass, and the puck goes out. Right to the point. And he hatchets one. Perfect tip by the stick. Oh, what a hit. That slowed things down. You want to get by as quick as you can on the boards. Maybe you can slide through. Not there. Doors closed. The Canadians are at the wing in neutral ice. Gerard's going to learn really quick that you cannot skate around the ice with your head down. you got players looking to knock you into the third row. Got the draw. Colorado's in the neutral zone along the wing. He imposed his will. Right 
there on the money, the left wing pass. Nice stand up poke check there. Passing one off now to McKinnon. Tremendous hit. Barry's often the object of a target. He's so good, nobody wants to give him much room, but he gets tagged there. Hammered, and he missed the net. He's got lots of time and plenty of opportunity to create a dangerous chance because he's right in the middle of the ice, and he blows it by missing the net. Save there. They have just four players on the ice. Their fifth is slow to his feet and back to the bench. He's hurt. Decides to head for the corner. The Canadians are skating it up in neutral ice. Seeks the corner. He was standing in the lane and got some of them. The Avs missed out on that power play and a chance to tie the game. It's over. Takes a shot. Strong, courageous block there. A big collision there. Save. Weber's trying for the neutral ice. Moving it to Shaw. Lifts one. Puck ricocheted off the screen. Solid rub out. No out of bounds in this sport. He was looking to finish his check, and he lines up his man right up against the boards. A huge open ice hit. And now it's directed to Kerfoot. Outstanding body contact. Shoots. Wonderful save. What skill by both goalie and shooter. Great opportunity. Better stop. Drives it. Brings it high off the post. Quick wrister. May not have intended it, but it hit him. The Abs look to make a difference up the wing. Not a free puck now. And that play is offside. Well, that's a brutal hit. I can feel that almost from where I'm standing here on the ice. That one hurts. Abs control at center ice. And he dumps it in. Drives that pass on. It's dumped in. Puck is thrown to Byron. Brings it in for an attack. Terrific shot, but a save. Oh, what a mean me. And they'll try to settle the score this way. Oh, that was not a good hit at all. Now somebody's coming to the aid of the fallen teammate. fight on that bunch has ended. That's got to hurt. What a way to leave your mark. Colorado's going to be energized from this win. The building's loud. The energy has changed here. Hey, Ray, what's going on down there? Word from the home team's locker room is they're going to be short a player for the rest of the night. The injury occurred a while ago. He will not return. The abs are moving the puck through the neutral zone. And he dumps it in. Looking to coach Kinyami. Driving in from no man's land. Routine save, but a necessary one. Zone to zone to comfort. It's dumped in. Out of the crease for some stick handling. Snapping a pass to Coach Kanyemi. A superb hit. A great hockey play there. I really like the effort that he's trying there to generate a turnover by finishing his check. Fires a shot. Hangs on to that one for a stoppage in play. The Canadians have the lead in this game. A lot to do with how aggressive they've played. They've been more physical than their opponents throughout this period. Over five minutes to go here in the second. It's a 1-0 game. The Canadians win the draw. Outstanding offense met by solid goaltending. Dawn, they've got a two-on-one here. Scooped up by Brendan Gallagher. Chip to McKinnon. What a hit that one was. Gerard's got score, and the game is even. Oh, 
Oh, that was a critical goal. Now the game is tied, and we'll see who can get the upper hand in the next few minutes. Colorado's done a wonderful job of getting this game back even, and we still have a third period ahead. The Avs with a center ice face-off win. Skill play by Shea Weber. Directing that one to Drew in. Taken over again. Colorado's along the wing at center ice. Breaks free. Outstanding point blank save. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. You can't deliver the puck much better than that, but the goalie says no chance. That's an excellent save. From the faceoff, and they lock up in a good reach. That's help from the wing. That one's deflected. He's not afraid to make enemies, is he? That's great defense. Trying to go to Byron. Skates it into the zone. And open ice collision. Most of the time, the hits that you can lay are along the boards where you can angle somebody out of the play. Every once in a while, you get to deliver an open ice goal. 40 minutes have been played. Some hits given, some shots fired. But let's see what they have in mind as we get closer to the start of the third period and crunch time. Feeling hungry? Try our arena restaurant for gourmet dining. With great views of the action, we'll get a light meal. We go down to the benches. Here's Ray. Hamanem's been missing from the bench for quite some time. I just got word now he won't be back today. Third period, tie game. If we end the third tie, there's overtime. Receives that pass from the other side. Pitching this one to Petrie. Cuts that pass off. Ah, uh, howitzer! Great save. Pass attempt to Domi. Gets in, and he'll look over his options. Didn't get through. Wonderful stop. Smart recovery by Johnson. Pitching it to Barry. A slot wrister handled with the stick. And he gains the zone. And it's all. And a save. Colorado's winging it at neutral ice. Nicely received at the point. A one-timer gonged away. Petrie's position on the ice allowed him to make this big hit. A little under five minutes gone in this period. Only a pair of goals so far equally divided. To Tatar. Steps in from the neutral zone. Oh, and he robbed him. And he puts the glove on it and stops playing. The tie-up. He needed help, and he got it. Colorado's looking to head man up the wing. Montreal's in their own end, hoping to make a play to center. That is up close and personal. Oh, that one's going to sting. You can't brace yourself like you're up against the boards. That rattles your body top to bottom. Soderbergh's going to the box, and the call is tripping. Oh, this is clearly a tripping call. He made no attempt to play the puck and took the legs out from the attacking player. The Canadians will get their first power play crack of the game. Let's see how they do. Oh, you get your power play on the ice for the first time. You can really generate some momentum, whether you score or not. Have a positive power play. The Canadians are controlling in their own end. And he steps across the line. Shot on. He throws it there. And another strong save. He throws that just for a break. 
After being under attack the last sequence, they needed a whistle. Won that face off. Now what? Oh, deflected away. Comfer's nicked up here, but he can't get off the ice. He's going to have to wobble around and finish this shift. Shot it back out of his own end. Gathered up by Shea Weber. Passing one off now to Petrie. Steps across that line. Great glove save. Comfer's laid it all out on the line. He was injured earlier in the shift, still had enough jam to get out and block the shot. Good face-off win. Fires! A terrific scoring chance denied. Back on his stick. Let's it go. Missed the net. Oh, that puck slowed up. It just missed the side of the net. Colorado's two-minute minor is for shooting the puck over the glass. Enter that on the sheet, delay of game. Anytime you shoot the puck from your defensive zone out into the crowd without touching anybody, it's a delay of game. It's a five on three, it's a power play, and it's a chance to do some damage. Colorado's got a defensive zone win. One of the biggest mistakes a five on three power play makes is they're looking for the perfect shot. The more you shoot it, the more you move the penalty killers around and you start to tire them out. Solid face-off win. Save! And the heat's taken off by the clear. A terrific determination by Shea Weber. Moving it to Domi. In with it now. Shoots one. Solid glove save. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. They won that draw. Hammered! That would hit him in the mask. Now you gotta wonder what that save in the mask is if it's going to affect him down the road. The shooter didn't get too much on that. Not a very dangerous opportunity for the goalie to stop, but he went in the butterfly just to be sure. They won that draw. Hammers won. Score! A power play goal. Montreal's gotten the lead here, breaking the tie in the third period. What a raucous ride to the finish we're going to have now. Neutralized face-off win. Now it's directed to Landeskog. Gains the zone. Good pass off the boards. At least he protected his goaltender. Zadorov's nicked up here. Guys, he's going to have to finish this shift. They're stuck in their own zone. And he dumps it in. Drouin's trying to get out of his own end. Shoots one. Save. Takes that pass up the boards. On the outside, a shot. That's a great save. Tries to clear. And the penalty killers come up big again. It's cleared. The Canadians, in their own end, lug that puck along. Strong wrister. Robbery there. Many yards gained to Domi. And decides to just hold on and get a stoppage of play. 
Zadorov's displaying some courage after being banged up earlier in the shift. He still gets himself into the shooting lane to block the shot. Just past halfway in the third period. So this game has gone from being dead even to a leader. Fires one. That puck hit him on the way to the net. Shoots and a save. They score. Two in a row. Back-to-back chances in a low slot, and he scored on a second one. Low blocker is always a good place to shoot. This shot is perfect. Beats him on the blocker side, just above the pad. The Canadians have gotten a two-goal lead in this contest now. They're probably expecting an attack coming at them, because now we're at desperation time. Puck is thrown to Code Kinyami. Thomas Tatar, assisted by number six. Fires! Puck grab, what's next? The Avs have the puck at center ice. Stands him up. Looking to Tatar. That was one, he'll get the number on. He wanted to make sure that his team was noticed here, Doc. He delivered that hit with intent. He went right through him. The Canadians in their own end in possession as they travel. Nice steal there by Cole. Carries it on in from center. Pass. Terrific save with no reaction time whatsoever. Terrific stop from right in front of the net, but you've got to find a way to put the puck in the net. Colorado skating in their own end, trying to get to the neutral zone. Shot. Oh, what a terrific save in close. Snapping a pass to Byron. Directing that one to Drew in. Blocked away. Has that one measured in his own end. Gathered up again by Landis Carr. Gives it to the point. Stash deep to Landis Carr. Flings it. Wonderful save. The next game will mark the end of this homestand that we find ourselves in this season. So mark it down. Make sure you get here. We go down to the benches. It's Ray Ferraro. Word from the home team's locker room is they're going to be short a player for the rest of the night. The injury occurred a while ago. He will not return. Gains that offensive line. Picks it up back there. Outlet up the middle to Soderberg. Let's it go. Got that in the trapper. The Avs empty their net. He's at the bench. Oh, did he ever get mashed. Marvelous save. A great chance was no chance. Pressure now. Collected by Johnson. Got it at the point. Got that pass in his own end. Open. No. Net empty. Score. That empty net goal will send the fans to the exits. Everybody can exhale a little bit now once the empty netter goes in. That pretty well wraps it up. Off win. Chalk up one more. Offside is called. Somebody got over anxious there. Hey, I like this mascot, guys. He's kind of goofy. The fans are getting a charge out of him. He's running all over the building, keeping them engaged in the game, too. And he's not like some of those mascots that look horrifying that you're scared of. This is good stuff. The Canadians ready an attack back in the defensive zone. Shoots one. Routine save. Trying to go to them. Can start the attack going in the zone. Petrie's wonderful block. Shoots one. 
and the game is over. Well played it was. The Canadians have another win and the streak continues. With that win, Doc, they found themselves with a tidy streak intact. The wins just keep on coming. So ends another game and another telecast. We hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. For Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich saying good night.